But we're talking chips right now, and the phone lines are yeah. on fire. They are sweet and spicy. You know, earlier today, uh, we were talking about the uniforms, and it dawned on me that my Twitter feed was going bananas because we were talking about uniforms, and that, that I, I, was, I, I tweeted then, Trump slash political takes, uniform takes, my Twitter feed just goes off the rails. What about now? <laughs> Ten times. <laughs> yeah. Free, the Frito take. I get random Frito stuff thrown at me on Twitter once a day. Random Frito stuff. Yeah. This is way hotter than even Trump. Yep. A- amazing. All right. We'll take a sports break here. We'll call it a sports break. 803-0550. Can you dip Doritos? Are you insane if you do? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying not only do you not do it, you are insane if you're doing it. You're ruining two great things. Mike Schoep and the Bulldog, WGR. All right, let's get another pair of UFC tickets out there to our audience. <laughs> what, what now? I'm what? trying to just look at the screen. Have oh. you looked at the screen in the last three minutes? Yep. Get line four. Yep. <laughs> we got a pair of tickets for uh, the UFC event, which is coming up Saturday, April 8th at the Key Bank Center. Minimum value of the prize is $120. General contest rules apply. Tickets for this event went on sale at 10 a.m. this morning at tickets.com. 644-9878. Caller 5 is going to get them. If you missed Daniel Cormier and Anthony Johnson, they were on this morning with Howard and Jeremy. I caught a good chunk of that, enjoyed it. Check it out on demand at WGR550.com. We'll let line four speak for itself here. Uh, This could be great. Here's Joe on WGR. Hi, Joe. Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on no dipping on the Doritos. I don't even think Doritos are fully a chip. They're more like a dipping a uh, cheese puff or a cheese it as bulldog. If you would dip a funyun, I, I think if they're already packed with flavor, you don't dip them with anything else. Why? Why would anyone within our civilization bother to eat a funyun ever? I've done it. Right, they're terrible. Yeah, they're, they're disgusting. Aren't you ever at a bowling alley and that's the best option? Maybe you're never in those kind of situations. I might. I find I myself might, in those I situations. I might lick a bowling shoe before I eat Funyuns. I'm not, I'm not well, going to the Funyun. Guess what? Um, They've just become our title sponsor. I can so. I can appreciate your opposition. Have you ever tried to dip a Dorito? I actually haven't. But there's one thing to confuse us all is that Doritos make a great taco salad. If you put a little bit of meat, cheese, sour cream, whatever you like on a taco, it's perfect. You may even have taco in a bag at like a youth sporting event. Yep. Uh, it's it's fantastic. It sounds crazy, but it works. Well, okay, and wouldn't there be sour cream in that? There is, and it tastes fantastic. Right, and that's dip. Yeah, this is where it gets confusing. I, thank you, Joe. You've added something here. I was at the San Antonio Zoo in November, and I'm with my kids, time to eat. Fun Time Daddy is their escort for the day, mm-hmm. and the concession stand has Doritos, which normally they would not be allowed to eat at home mm-hmm. when it's the mom show. I mean, Dad, I have Dorito pants. Like, I, I just, <laughs> Of course you can have Doritos. Doritos is the vegetable what? today. <laughs> so we get the Doritos, and the woman, and I wonder if anybody listening has ever like seen this. Maybe it's not even that strange, but I'd never been to San Antonio. The... The woman selling the concessions, she says, "Do you want you know the cheese and the meat and everything?" Basically, the the she make a taco thing in a was bag. Taco, taco in, a bag. in a bag out of the bag of Doritos, sure. So I said, "Of course not," but I felt then that I was getting cheated if I said <laughs> no. Like the, what you're paying six dollars for or whatever is a small bag of Doritos with meat and right. cheese in it. Yeah, I'm like uh, that. No. Uh, it would be terrible. I don't want that. And then my son started telling me is that they have taco in a bag on Tuesdays at school lunch. Taco Tuesdays, taco in a bag Tuesdays, sure. Yeah, so... It's delicious. My daughter was a flat no about this, mm-hmm. and so was I. We tried it. The woman said, if you... doesn't really matter. If you don't like it, we'll, I'll give you a new bag. And then, actually, we didn't like it, so I went up mm-hmm. and said, where's the new... Like, we'll take the new bag. And she's like, I shouldn't have said that. Like, well... You did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that did not go well. Mm, yeah. 
Never put Doritos in anything. So just except so, your mouth. So just so we're clear here, you you returned a bag of Doritos at a zoo. Like yes, that, that that actually happened. You returned a yes. bag of Doritos at a zoo. I couldn't eat them. Jesus. I could not eat them with the meat and cheese in there. What is it like living with you? I can't. Even, I did. I can't even believe this. Right by the giraffes. <laughs> Maybe somebody out there knows it. Oh, <laughs> it's right by the giraffes. Oh, I'm, I'm sure somebody's been to the San Antonio Zoo. Yeah. Oh, it's a great zoo. I yeah. mean, they have Doritos <laughs> with meat on them. Here is Ryan on WGR. Hello, Ryan. Hey, how are you guys? Great. Thank you. Say, uh, I'm a chef of 20 years, and earlier in my career, I had a head chef that would dip Fritos into cottage cheese and Frank's Red Hot. <clears throat> now, originally, I saw it. Mm. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I agree with you that Fritos smell funky and, quite frankly, do not taste good by themselves. But I got to tell you, this marriage of salty chips, if you want to call them chips, mm-hmm. and uh, fat creaminess of cottage cheese in the spring. Spice of Frank's Red Hot is fabulous. You're here to vouch for it. Oh my God, it's amazing! Like yeah. I had to try it. I'm a chef, you know, and like you can't not try food. Right? Yeah. All right. Has it ever been on one of your menus? And uh, it was amazing. <laughs> um, Doritos, on the other hand, I just don't really like Doritos. I think they're over seasoned. You get all that crud all over your fingers, and then you like suck it off. And so my thought on Doritos mm-hmm. is. You know, if you want to dip them, go right ahead. You know, maybe it can make it better. Have you have you ever served these Fritos in cottage cheese and hot sauce? <laughs> we have not. I've never uh, worked at a restaurant um, that would have the balls to do such a thing. <laughs> gotcha. You know who who would have done that? And I, I mean, you can even mention where where you work or where you are if you want, Ryan. Um, I'm in Brooklyn now, and I actually work for a school, so we might be able to pull that off. <laughs> You're in Brooklyn. Okay. All right. All right. Remember, you know, uh, Bulldog, you know J.J., yeah, 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 who right. had torches right. and smoke on the water? Yeah. Like, he would he would serve Fritos with cottage cheese and hot sauce as and make an, it great. As an appetizer, like, roll that out. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he would do something like that. I have, um, I have a real cottage. Thank you, Ryan. I have a real cottage cheese problem. Just can't. Just the the idea of combining Fritos and cottage cheese is very hard for me to handle. I love cottage cheese. I can't. I don't like to be around cottage cheese being eaten. Like just looking at it on a plate sort of makes me like I'm really not exaggerating. Like it just I I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. I just think like the idea of putting that in my body. I know it's good for you. It just, I think it's gross. It is like my one of my least favorite foods on earth. Cottage it, cheese. It's funny because this guy comes on and starts talking about uh, you know dipping Fritos, cottage cheese, hot sauce. Uh, I had a roommate who uh, pretty much lived off of a wheat thins and a cottage cheese, and uh, I I got in the game. I gotta say, I got in the game, and it is a tasty, healthy oh. brain food snack. Really gets the body going. I'm fine with cottage cheese. <laughs> Fine with it. I'm scared of it. Happy to have it. Terrified. Brandon is on WGR. Hello, Brandon. Hey, how you doing, guys? Great. Thank you for calling. Uh, I just wanted to say, first of all, a Dorito getting dipped in anything is a sin. Mm. And then, uh, secondly, so played hockey growing up for 20 thing. years, and a Frito smells like a sweaty leather hockey glove. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think that is a similar smell to feet, actually. So that works. So, you, you know, so we we um, you know we're you and I are on separate sides of the aisle on one and uh, sitting together on the other. Without directly refuting that, you know what Fritos smell like to me? Fritos. So when I have Fritos, I don't think about what else that's gross they might smell like. Yeah. They smell like Fritos, and I'm fine with that. They, they smell like corn chips. Yeah. So. The other thing, I, I don't even think I've ever spent any time outside of, of course, my job, wondering what Fritos right. smell like. Yeah, you need to, you need to get some smelly feet. Maybe you haven't experienced enough hockey locker rooms or Maybe. hockey bags or goalie gloves. Oh my God! If this guy thinks regular hockey gloves are a presence. Wait, you're saying it's a worse goalies? It's a worse smell. The goalie gloves are. We had a tournament in Pittsburgh last 
winter, maybe around this time, whatever, it doesn't matter, last winter. And the gear, it was, you know, very cold, so we couldn't leave the gear in the truck. So the gear came in the room, and the gloves came out because they played, like, two games Friday, so this, everything's soaking wet. The gloves sat in the, like, the front part of the, it was a good-sized hotel room. We went out to dinner and came back, and I'm telling you, the room was just a pit of stinky, stanky despair. It was, and it was the goalie gloves. Hockey gloves themselves would not do that to an entire room. These hockey gloves, these goalie gloves, just swallowed the room whole. Gross. Wow. The worst. I never knew that the goalie glove smell was worse than the player glove smell. Yes. The, the, Is this known? Is this like I unanimous? Don't, I don't know. I think you have to be a goalie or have a goalie in your family to have experienced it. I, ne- I it, it blew my mind. Blew my mind. Wow. I'd had. This, I think this is big news. I'd had regular, you know, hockey glove smell in the room, and it was like, oh yeah, the gear, the hockey gear, like the the. The hockey gloves sort of blend in with the rest of the gear. Like, it smells bad. Okay. These gloves were just like someone unleashed a bomb. Bad news, man. Goalie gloves. Here's John with us. Hi, John. John, you there? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, gentlemen? Good. Good Thank afternoon. you. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, add my two cents on the, uh, the clownery at hand. Uh, hey. Hey. What do you guys think about bison dip on a lower cal or you know a lower quality of chip or versus like hummus or you know differing grades of dip versus the chip? I love all of them, and while I'm dropping restaurant names, Acropolis has this these, this great lineup of dips. They have a spicy feta and hummus. All of it was really good. Um, I, I think I could like any of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I prefer bison on like a you know sea salted vinaigrized kettle chip you ever have those like hearty kettle chips yeah those, yeah those are the way to go i like that in the bison dip sure yeah i think that's like it's Good. got the tangy tzatziki vibe going anyways i just wanted to chime in and let you guys uh awesome. yeah. yeah tzatziki is another one of theirs that i just mentioned i've never had like a like hummus or anything like that with chips that's more of like a cracker thing to me pita right so i don't know that i wouldn't like it but like bison dip to me, like just go ahead. Some, the, the guy earlier was like cheese puffs. Yeah, knock yourself out. I've I have dipped cheese puffs in bison dip. Bi, bison dip it's is regrettable. Is just it's great on everything. Here's Robert on WGR. Hello, Robert. Hey, how you guys doing? Great. You know. <laughs> I just I agree with the last caller. Actually, I was just going to say I'm a huge advocate. I I love <laughs> bison chip dip. I would dip anything, Doritos, anything in it. Word. I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, have you ever tried mashed potatoes, like mashed red potatoes with bison chip dip in it? Because that's fantastic. No, but I bet it's good. I bet it's just like, you know, you put the dip on top of it. Yeah, I actually, I like make mashed potatoes, red potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. chip dip in it. I like that idea. Yeah, we've done that. But you can't, I mean, not you can't dip a hot dog in bison dip. No. no I'm or talking, a steak. I'm, I'm talking chips, basically. But the, the, the baked potato, mashed potatoes, sure. Any I, raw vegetable. I've used it. But... Any raw vegetable, any plain chip. Any plain toast or, you know, pita, well, you those, little, those little hard toasts, what are those, Melba toast, anything, until, anything like that? Until you try the flavored Dorito chips in the Bison Dip, you Ugh. just don't know, you're not living. Don't I just feel, missing. I think I would be, that would just be an insult to society to do that. <laughs> Why take perfectly good things and wreck them? I might as well just throw them at the wall and watch it drip down the side of the wall. Text message or something. See if my dog would eat it. People swearing about hummus here. My <laughs> yeah, that's great. You know, welcome to the Aussie. 